everyone. Here to add some seasonal stylings to our fireplaces with a DIY fall mantlescape. It's muddy, y'all. <laughs> All the fireplaces where everybody wants to be during the fall. It just yeah. starts to get cool and you want to get cozy. So I, I have know. three DIYs that will make fall explode all over your fire. Well, and that that, you, that was the goal. Outdone yourself. From the sign to the lanterns to the cascading pumpkins. The it's all really simple, way. but they make big statements. It is a fall explosion, <laughs> Maria. <laughs> fall explosion. Let's start with your beautiful lanterns that are copper and very fall-like. Yes, and I actually use these throughout the season. These are really from my house. And you can see right that picture right there. You can see I used uh, some candles for them. And all you really do, and that uh, is... Fill them with battery-powered candles oh, because good. I have other things in there and obviously safety right, first, so you right, wouldn't want to right, use a, right. a real flame. We were just talking about and, that yesterday yes. with and our Boston are, Hill candles. Exactly, because you yeah. can put timers on them. They're great. So with those, that's what I have. And also what's really fun is terrariums. And I do not have a green thumb, so mine are fake. And so that's <laughs> what I have there, you can see. But these are fall terrariums, and I'll show you how to do it because really the trick with terrariums is it's all about the layering. So I got these really great just black rocks, okay. and you pop them into the bottom like so. Actually, I can put all those in there. And just put them around like that. You could probably use any sort of rocks. You, you could, put some river rocks in you there. You could do whatever, anything. Right? Yeah, and in terms of whatever kind of color palette you want, even just the brown rocks would be great. Oh, but yeah, I love sure, that. And then the sure. moss. And just whatever detailing you have. Like I found these faux uh, succulents. And I love any, so all the things for uh, doing any kind of wreaths right now are out. So you can take them, just remove mm. the, the back or the bottom. Oh, right. Yeah, There's just, pull, just pumpkins. pull it on That's, out you, and Yeah, pop put it them in there, lots of Just like so. And you can do whatever colors. you want, add some uh, little fall detailing. You could do leaves, anything like that. Yeah, and if you oh, do have a green it. thumb, if you be do, our guest. Use real be ones. My guest. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Use real yeah. one. You and that's something you could change out if you just add a real one. So you cute. like change the pumpkin out or something like oh. that. But that's how you do the lanterns. And you could even fill them with pumpkins or fill oh, them with so leaves. Cute. As much as you like yeah, the right, lanterns. All the way up, for sure. Yeah. Yes. There's a lot of uh, a lot of great stuff in there. Now, I, looking at the mantle, one of the things that stands out for me is that sign. I mean, it's a real focal point in what yeah. you got going on there. It's, it's, I want to find out about that sign. Okay, so this sign, I actually built this palette and I did it for the fourth of July. I did this big flag and I did it oh, in the front of our house. That was my favorite thing oh, you've ever done. Yes. I loved that, Maria. Thank it was so you. fun. And the thing is, it's a big piece of art and yeah. where else can you really put it? So I thought it was great as uh, part of the fireplace, the mantlescape, if you will. So I repurposed that. All I did was cover it with some brown paint. I didn't sand it down. I just covered it with okay. paint. Oh. And a good trick when you're using, a, a kind of figuring out what brown you want, if you don't have it, but you have all your different paint colors, sure. add some black paint to your brown paint that will give it some really great richness nice. and sure. depth. So I painted it all and I just did a dry brush technique, which we do frequently on the show, so you can always go to our website to see a tutorial with the gold paint. Just dry brush with the gold and it hits the light in the perfect Oh, areas. I love it. It also oh. sort of antiques it a little bit. Exactly. Yeah, I love that. And also with the touch of gold is it ties in everything else. So, mm -hmm. for instance, I'm going to walk over here. You can see I something that you maybe buy at the store can be something to, add, to help but when you add your DIYs in there, tie everything in. So you see I have right. the there. That ties mm. in. Picks up all it the ties little in hits. with the metallic that I have in the lanterns. And these are just wood uh, wood letters that I painted nice. orange. Okay. Okay. And, add, yeah, and added in the just the hay. I just glued on or, uh, the wheat. I'm sorry. I glued on pieces of the wheat. 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 If, I was, if, if I was Ken If you were Ken Wingard, it would be wheat. <laughs> wheat. He's here and somewhere. It on, yeah. It's super fun. I mean, I think it came together. It, well, I mean, yeah. it is really gorgeous. It's very bountiful, if you bountiful. will. Bountiful. But nothing is more bountiful than all of the pumpkins and the squash that are pouring out of the cornucopia, if you, uh, if you will, out of our <laughs> fireplace. What is happening here? I love it. It's a fall explosion. That's a hard that I wanted to, yes. it to feel like my house was exploding fall, and that is what happened. Beautiful. Here. I wanted it to cascade pumpkins. So what this is and of course we have a non-working fireplace in this house so obviously do this with if your fireplace allows you obviously safety first so right. you know it, depending on whatever fireplace you have but this is a mix of faux and uh, real pumpkins. Okay. So really at the base oh. of this is when you want your your uh, real pumpkins at the base because they're really going to hold everything up. Yep. And I have the little ones, some are real and some are fake, but you're really filling in just the little spots here and there. And uh, if you want, if there's specific places you want things to go, you could always glue them in with a hot glue I was gun. just going to say, okay. this is sort of like a puzzle and you just fill in the it's blanks. It's a but... puzzle. It's like Tetris. And okay. then you just put all the leaves in there. You could use real, you could use fake. You glue the pumpkins to each other. You don't glue it to the fireplace. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> just, yeah, just to be 
pumpkins. Pumpkins. <laughs> Extremely accurate. Flew the pumpkins to the pumpkins. And the different sizes is and what makes sizes. it so cool. Exactly. So it's sort of like a waterfall of the pumpkins, if you will. Well oh, done, Maria. You have really outdone yourself this time. That last one with the flag was my favorite. This is now my favorite.